How to get mods into Minimator. You know, mutant creatures, new mobs, bosses, all that sort of stuff. I face this question again and again, and today I'm gonna answer it. You might not like the answer, but you gotta do it yourself. What's up, Animator? Sharp here, and today I'm talking about mods in Minimator. Like I've said before, there's no simple option to transfer mods from the game into Minimator, because Minecraft runs on Java, and Minimator runs on GameMaker. There's no compatibility, so you gotta build all the mobs yourself. However, I'm here to save the day, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. You're going to need two things, the mod itself, plus reference of the mob that you're trying to recreate. I picked Mutant Creatures, because it's a well-known mod, plus I like the way the zombie looks. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get cracking with the thing. So I'm gonna take my mod and I'm gonna open it up, with WinRAR Archiver or WinZip or anything that lets you view its contents and the only reason I need it is because I want the textures. Each mod is different, I don't know where it is, I just know the zombie texture is right here, I'm gonna drag this on my desktop and that's it. I can actually delete the mod right now, all I need is this texture and the reference, that's all. So now I wanna open up my texture with Paint.net or Photoshop or GIMP or anything that lets you edit the- shush. I'm busy. Anything that lets you edit the image and it also supports transparency, you know, the fake PNG background. Yeah, this, this is a legitimate PNG. Here's the thing though, our mob looks like this. So we gotta identify what we're actually working with. Sorry, Mike, I keep hitting you every single time. So this is the leg, right? This is the bottom of the upper part of the leg. I wanna delete this. And this is the top of the bottom part of the leg. So this is this top, delete this. I wanna actually make the knees bend properly. And I'm gonna take this, which is technically the bottom of the leg, cut this out and paste it on on the top right here and I'm gonna put these legs here and just move them up pretty much like so instead of having the legs from two parts I want to make it out of one part that is what I did right here so this is now my one leg texture and I'm gonna do the same with the arms I don't need the bottom thing so they're not split into two because I think that looks ugly if you want to do it that way you can do it that way I just don't so this is the top half of the body, this is the upper half, this is the bottom half, this is the head. I think this is all we need, we have our texture sorted, I'm gonna save it. And now what you need, you gotta open up the Model Bench, which is a very useful software. This thing, I will link it in the description, and this is your go-to software if you wanna make rigs. So I wanna make new model. First things first, I wanna add a new texture. A bras for the zombie texture, which is this one, the one we just made. And if we take a look at this, how is this thing structured? First of all, I wanna make the body. So let us open up the elements here, I'm gonna add a new block. This is going to be our bottom part of the body. I'm gonna name it body lower. The shape doesn't need a name. If you want to name it though, you can. So body lower, material, this should have a texture of the zombie. So anything below this is gonna use the same texture. We gotta assign the UV, so press Control plus A or click this icon up here to bring up the UV editor. And I'm gonna bring the corner into the corner here, bring this corner into the corner here, and offset this so you basically get the same shape. You can press Control E again to minimize that, but this this is now your lower body and that's as simple as it gets. <laughs> Actually, I want to put this just as body because I want to add a new shape. I want to make it out of two shapes just like the rig, so the bottom cube and the upper cube, but I want to make it bend so it looks a little bit more uh, smooth. So let's add another cube here and I can name this body lower, body upper. You don't have to name this, you won't see these names in the software. I have a model bench tutorial if you want to learn how model, model, uh, model bench works in detail. English. Same as before, open up the UV, edit UV editor. I'm trying to speak so quickly, but I mess up all the time. Put this here, put this here. That's a big shape. Now, what I want you to do is the body itself has a pivot in here, right? So in the in the bottom, in the cross here, I do not want to move the position because that's going to mess up the pivot point. It's going to be bending weird. I don't want this. If you want this to be accurate, you got to move the pivot offset. Remember this? It's gonna save your life. So I want to move this up and it looks like it's 16. So we're standing on top. Wait a second. That's not 16. We got to improvise a little bit. Yo, let's put it down like so. This feels right. Like nine. Oh yeah, by the way, if you want to save the rig, first of all, let's let's make a folder. You need a folder. You call it zombie mutant. And now when you save the rig, it's gonna ask you where you want to save it. Put it in the zombie mutant, zombie mutant, save. And now in this folder, you should also get the default texture and the zombie texture. So this rig is always going to work regardless of where you put it you give it to another video. I've made a video how to save rigs, how to use them properly. That's why. Now that it's saved, I can be confident to make any changes to this without breaking it. So let's click on the body part, open up the bend. Let's say bend on the x-axis. The upper part is gonna bend because this is the lower part. Uh, let's see. If I bend it like this, we can see what's going on. Now let's mess with the offset. Let's offset this right there. I think that should do it. And if we increase the bend size, right? If we increase the size, it's gonna be a little bit smoother. If we bend it, this is gonna be our bend now. You 
got to fiddle with it. This is all your choice. I want to keep the upper half like it is. Maybe bend a little bit just like it is right now. I think this works fine. I don't think my rig should go beyond this point. So let's lock it to 60 and 60. So it's not going to break regardless of what you do. Uh, do the same for the Y. So let's see. The Y looks like this. <laughs> There we go, it's breaking. The size should be 8, definitely. But the offset, though, I think it should be all down. So, like, if I put it to 6 and 6, it feels like, yeah, the lower part's gonna be moving, the upper part's not gonna be moving. So, if I do this, the only reason why I'm not doing it is because it looks awful. This is why it's useful to make it out of one part and not multiple parts, because it usually breaks. That is why rigs from mods are usually a hell to work with. So, let's put it to 6 and 6, because this seems pretty fine. Also, I want it to move, like, 25, minus 25, put this back to 0 zero and the x still works right yeah it's all good and now the c Eh, around 30 looks natural, then the texture starts going inside itself, so like this. It's not gonna be a very flexible rig because, come on, does that look flexible to you? Alright, we got our body, now let's click on the body, add a new body part, call this head, give it a block. I'm just gonna open up the UV editor, select the actual head, Jesus. And now the head is down there, right? We gotta position the head. I wanna click the move tool so I can see exactly where the pivot is. Move it up, and I'm gonna turn on snapping. Boom, it looks like it's on 17. However, if I do this now and try to rotate the head, it's gonna rotate from the from the center point. So we gotta move the head down first. So pivot offset, I'm gonna put this to zero. So it's now on the pivot right there. And now I wanna move it back up because now it's going to rotate from here. Both pivots need to be in the same place right there for the optimal results. I've got the head in place, what now? We got the arms, so let's make a new body part on the body, call it left arm, and give it a Q. Now we're gonna use this as the arms, so pick the arm texture right here. It's as simple as that, you just gotta build it from scratch, that's the whole magic. Now here's the thing, I want my arm to be rotating from a reasonable place, right? So from, from this, from the center of the upper part of the arm, just like with Steve. So first I wanna position my shape to be in the same place. Now that's too, that's too high up, 28. I want my pivot to be right there and then move the whole body part. So I move the body part up. Uh, I think it's 17. Yeah, move it out like this. 17 minus 15. I want to add all the bends and all this stuff. So bend on X axis, bend the lower part because the lower part of your arm is going to bend. If I try to bend it now, you can see where it is like this. Move the offset down. It looks like 12 is the optimal result. So I said minus 12. Minus 12. Oh, it's there we go. A comma was in there for some reason. A dot. Enable blocky bending, right? Custom bend size is off. When custom bend size is off, it's gonna have blocky bending. That's what I need. If I bend it into the positive side, it's going in the opposite direction. So I wanna, I wanna invert this. So now it's going in the proper direction. And I wanna limit this to zero on one end. So it's not gonna go the other way. Now if I move it up, this is the absolute maximum 145. Even this looks awkward, but I'm gonna leave myself some working space like this. That's it. I wanna copy this, control D, call this right arm, and just change this X from minus 15 to plus 15. Camera stopped recording, so I'm gonna do the last part again. I fixed the arms. This is the right one, this is the left one. If you wanna add the legs, deselect everything and add a part. So now it's not gonna be locked onto the body, but it's gonna be unique. Call this one, rename this one. Come on, select everything. Screw you. Left leg, give it a block, press Control E to open up this. Ooh, if you don't see your texture in here, you just gotta click on the left leg, go under under the material tab and just select your texture that you want. And now all, all its uh, children are gonna use the same texture. So now this should have the texture of the leg. So let's do this, like a so. I want the pivot to be right here, which is optimal. So let's move the shape down because the, the body part is already where it should be. Two minus 19 looks like. And I'll simply select the body part. This is the left one, so it should go in this direction, right? It looks like 3.5. Let's turn off snapping. 3.5? Uh, 3. 0.5, not comma. Yeah, so it's in the center of the other half. It's fine. Now the bend, bend on X, bend lower part. If I bend it to see what it looks like, move the offset down. So it looks like minus eight is the way to go. Sometimes if your bend size is too much, you can see the beginning already offsetting. The, the initial points of the bend here are moving around. So you should never go above the offset. So eight is the maximum if you want this to be intact. However, I don't want a custom bend size because blocky bending looks better. Limit this on the negative so it only bends in one direction. And I think this is the absolute maximum, 130. So let's limit to 130. And this is my bend done pretty much. Now what I can do is duplicate my leg, call it right leg, and just put the X position to minus 3.5 
and this is my zombie. This is the entire rig, pretty much. The head and the arms should have the lock to bend half of the parent. If this is not on, this is going to happen. It's not gonna follow the bent half, so you should probably always take this on if it's parented to the body. But that is pretty much it. This is the rig, so I wanna save it. It's all in the folder here. I've saved it. And now open up my meter. And this is gonna take a while. And while you wait, I wanna have a word about my merch. This is honestly one of the softest sweaters I've worn. The material soft, the print is actually quite quality. I'm still selling these if you want your own. The link is in the description. It's not going away anytime soon. I've got sweaters, hoodies, shirts, even masks. I know I'm late to the party, but it's on there. I've dropped the prices as low as they let me. I get like a dollar from each sale. Anyways, my meter's up. If you're interested, description. Open up my test. This is from a previous video. All right, if you want your monster in here, all you gotta do is click the import asset icon, browse for your mute zombie mutant thing, and import the Minimator model. And here it is. This is- I forgot to name it. <laughs> In Model Bench, under Model Properties, you should name this to Zombie Mutant. So now it has a name. Now you save it. I wanna delete this guy from my resources. I wanna delete him in here. And now re-import it now that it's saved. Boom, Zombie Mutant. This cross here with the X and Z axes, it's in his crotch, as you can see. That is why my model is also going to have the rotation point in his crotch. So it's in the center if you wanna animate flips and stuff. I, I like to have my models like this. Although, you see your body parts here, they should bend. It's got the limit on the bend, so you can't break it because we've set our limits like so. He is really not flexible, is he? If you got your head with no bends or anything, you've got your arms here bending as they should. You have got your legs and this is your zombie mutant. Now, if you're looking at a mod like Ore Spawn or Twilight Forest, there's a lot of stuff in there. Lots of mobs, lots of items, lots of everything. If you want to recreate all this, then I'm sorry, but you're in for a lot of work. Like I've said, Java and Game Maker are, are not cross compatible. So if you want all this stuff in here, you got to make them yourself. Even the zombie is made from two parts. It was my creative choice to give him a proper bend. It doesn't matter if you recreate the monster completely accurately, because this is not accurate technically, but I think this looks better, so just do your thing, think of what you want it to look like. I know what you're gonna say, no, I'm not gonna give you this rig, mostly because I don't like this, I don't like the way it's bending, like the lower half. If I would have done this again, I would have probably fixed the body to be more functional, plus I want you to learn on your own. I don't want to give you all the assets just like, hey, I, I took this from Sharpwind. As much as I want to be helpful, you're gonna learn the most if you do this yourself. I've shown you how it's done, and now it's up to you. Now that is all for me today. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, smash like, hit bell. Yes, <laughs> it does help me out. I know I promised you system in the last video, but Flames lives in a different time zone, and he's in school right now, so I want to record a video. I've got time. Next video, system. I'm doing system next. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay sharp.